guys, welcome back. I am here with Barbie because I have something really, really cool that I am so excited to show you. I went to Dollarama, which you know in Canada is our dollar store that now goes up to $5. So for our American viewers, again, it's very similar to Five Below. And you will not believe what I found for my dearest Barbie here. Are you ready? Hey Barbie. Check it out. Official Tokyo Barbie outfits. And they come with accessories. These are $4 each. And I am hoping that these will actually fit the Barbie. Because on the back, it does say fits most Barbies. And they do look very loose fitted so that if you do have a, I guess, a standard Barbie or one of the fashionistas, which I couldn't find. I don't know where I put mine to see if they will fit. But we are going to open them up, try them on and play with the accessories. Are you ready? Which one first? I think I want to try this one with the mascot. So let's move these two out of the way and let's open up the mascot. This one I am excited about. It has, I'm guessing, a little purse and a watch. They don't tell you anything on the back other than the fact that it is official Tokyo 2020 Olympics and that it does fit most dolls. So yes, these are two years old at this point, but $4, an outfit, unbelievable. And if they fit our Miss Barbie with no issues like the dollar store outfits, no issues like the Disney princess ones that had giant shoes. I am going to be super excited. And we're going to try them all on. So let's go ahead and like get right into it. These are in such cool packages too because they're in actual boxes. You know how the dollar store ones are just normally in like little sleeves. And even the, even the, oh, the princess ones. They had great packaging. But it was still so awkward. They didn't have boxes. Look how easy this pops out. I'm going to give it a little rip. I'm going to just tear the box apart. Oh, it all folds open. Okay. There we go. Oh, and it says 2019 Mattel because obviously they knew the Olympics were happening. And we know the 2020 Olympics were delayed because of COVID. So let's go ahead. Oh, these are going to be quality. Do you know what I see right away on the inside of this first outfit? Is an actual Barbie clothing tag. I haven't seen this since doll clothes in the 80s. They don't normally put this anymore. This is how you know it's official. Let's get this open. Ah, there we go. Now our little accessories. Oh, did I just throw that other piece away that has the other accessory? Did I? Did I? Okay, maybe I did. Okay, so one, the first accessory was obviously teeny tiny because there was a little watch and I just dropped it. But that's okay. Let's get this little outfit on our Barbie. We all know Barbie stuff is tiny. So here's our Barbie and here's this dress. And look at that velcro and double stitching oh such good quality let's go ahead and get this on her oh, fits it fits it fits it fits and now i know i need to be more careful when i open the next one because i did lose that little watch oh guys after all the bad barbie outfits this is going to fit your standard Barbie with no problems. Look at that. The Velcro. It fits over her hips. It closes on the back. This one, I don't know, might be a bit tight on a fashionista. It has the Olympic logo right there. Now, does this accessory open? Mm, there's a seam. No. So this just has her purse. And she would have a little watch hadn't, if I hadn't lost it on the packaging. Look at how cute she is. The purse fits on her hand just between her thumb. It's not crinkly material, guys. It's actual fabric. Look how good she looks. Oh, I love this one. I love it. Are you ready to see the next one? Let's put her accessory over here. And we'll take this one off and get ready for the next one. Oh, Barbie. 
Here we go. There is her first outfit. Now let's open up the second one. This one's got the two piece and it has another bracelet and sunglasses. So let's not do the same thing, but let's rip it right open and get that out. There we go. And little elastics. Okay. Oh, they hooked the elastic right through. So there's her bracelet. Look at the cat eye sunglasses. I just, I can't. I am so, so happy with these outfits. Let's snip, snip. Look at the pants with the stripes. Oh, perfect. And Velcro again, double stitched. Oh, guys, if you can find these, I would definitely, definitely. Oh, my goodness. Look what I just found. There's the little watch. I found it. There's no face on the watch. It's just the circle. Hold on, Barbie. Give me your arm for a second. Will this clip on to you? Okay. And there we have the little watch. Look at how well that fits. Okay. Now let's put your... Oh, it's a little tight. There's outfit one. Now let's try outfit two. And again, there's a tag on the pants and on the shirt. These are quality. These would not be $4 outfits if you were getting these from Toys R Us, which we still have in Canada, or whatever toy store you're getting them from in the States or whatever country you're from. You know what? You should let me know in the comments. What country are you from? I am from Canada and I am from Ontario. <gasps> Look. Okay. Let's get this little bracelet on her. I am going to have to cut the elastic because they put it straight through. And remember, if you're using scissors, be very careful and ask a parent or guardian or any grown up around you that you trust to help you with the scissors. Now will the sunglasses fit. Oh, guys, look at that. She has her bracelet. She has her little crop top. Her pants and her sunglasses actually stay on her face. I have really never seen sunglasses that will actually stay on Barbie. Look at that. Even the Wonder Woman sunglasses, we lost those in the yard the first day because they fell right off her face. This one, I don't know now, guys, between this one or this one, which one's your favorite so far? Honestly, I'm leaning towards the second one. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's try the third one. And we'll line this one up over here. There's her bracelet. And these sunglasses are still staying on our Barbie. And there's her sunglasses. They are snug. Okay, last one. This one has shoes. Because Barbies come with so many different feet now, shoes are hard. Do you remember the princess ones? They were huge. And some of the Dollarama ones, or sorry, Dollar Tree ones only fit Barbie with flat feet. So I'll be interested in these ones. And it comes with a visor. Are you ready? Oh, guys. I am just, I am beyond words. It is so hard to find good Barbie outfits. I am beyond thrilled. There's her hat. Oh, another one of those elastics. I don't even have patience anymore. I'm just ripping right in. There are her shoes. Let's get those scissors. Snip, snip. Okay, there we go. And again, Velcro. Double stitched Velcro. Love it. Oh, I love it. And the fake zipper down the front. All right, let's get her into this dress. So exciting. I think these are costs or outfits from each country that they were performing. What do you guys think? I really like the little mascot on that one, but let's see. I think my Barbie's hands are a bit big because this one I am struggling with. There we go. Oh, she is looking so good. Let's do the Velcro. Nice high collar neck. 
Again, when it says fits most Barbies, based on this, I'm going to think it's the standard original Barbie. Any of the fashionistas, or I guess the shorter ones too, but any of them that have different body types, I don't think they're going to fit because it's really not a lot of give. Okay, let's try the shoes. Now, my Barbie has solid feet that are pointy. And that's a fail. These shoes are only meant for flat-footed Barbie. They will not work with Barbie with heels. Okay, that's okay. And let's get her hat on her too and see how that fits. Okay. Oh, so cute. The detail in the hat. Can you see the little stitching all around the hat? The fake stitching. There's some fluff. Look at how good she looks. I'm a touch disappointed in the shoes, but you know what? Some Barbies have flat feet. Some don't. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? What are you going to do? So now, it's a big decision. Which outfit is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Is it one, two, or three? Tough decision for me. I don't know. I love them all. I'm going to let you guys decide. You let me know in the comments and I will do another review or some I don't, playing with the dolls or something. Maybe I'll do a giveaway for the top picked outfit. We'll have to stay tuned for that. Until then, make sure you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys later.